Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anupam and I will be your instructor today. Today we will be discussing volume control ventilation. Now we are coming to mode proper. Volume control ventilation is the basic mode that all of us we should be knowing. So today we will discuss in detail about it. So we will discuss it, it under four headings. Number one heading will be determinants then we will discuss about the time concept we will discuss something about the graphics then advantage and disadvantage right so first coming to the determinant section it will be divided into three parts one will be control variable as the name suggests volume is our control variable now how to calculate this volume it is also called tidal volume how to calculate this volume whether it is actual body weight or adjusted body weight no it is not actual body weight it's not adjusted body weight it is ideal body weight how to calculate the formula is 50 plus 2.3 into inches over 5 feet or 45.5 plus 2.3 into inches over 5 feet this is for male this is for female this is how you calculate the body weight and then the formula for tidal volume will be tidal volume will be 6 to 8 ml per kg of ideal body weight now the second is inspiratory phase variable that we have discussed in detail I'll just touch upon it first will be trigger now trigger can be machine or tie or patient patient can be flow trigger or present trigger if you want to know detail about trigger you can follow the other videos on trigger then second will be limit limit in volume control ventilation is flow limited then cycle cycle is volume cycle or time cycle once the time has gone or the volume has been delivered the ventilators will cycle the inspiration to acceleration now third will be baseline variable here we will set two things one is peep another is respiratory rate how to set the respiratory rate respiratory is equal to minute ventilation divided by tidal volume tidal volume already we have calculated here a minute ventilation will take around 6 to 10 liter per minute and tidal volume, volume is ideal body weight into 4 to 6 ml it will come in a range respiratory rate ideally it is around 10 to 16 per minute per normal patient right so these are the three determinants of volume control ventilation now we are coming to time concept what is time concept Total 
टोटल साइकिल टाइम और इट इज कॉल्ड टी सी टी इज इक्वल टू इंस्पिरेटरी टाइम प्लस एक्सपेटरी एक्सपायरेटोरी टाइम नाउ हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस टोटल साइकिल टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड डिवाइड बाय रेस्पिरेटरी रेट नाउ ऑलवेज रिमेंबर सम रूल्स Expiratory time cannot be directly controlled. Second point, expiration is passive. Okay, so expiration expiry time can be changed indirectly by changing other parameters. So for a discussion. The definition of inspiratory time or IT is equal to tidal volume by flow. So tidal volume is fixed, flow is fixed, so inspiratory time is a fixed variable, right? Fixed entity. Until or unless you are changing the tidal volume or you are changing the flow. So if IT is fixed, that means expiratory time. Will depend upon inversely to respiratory rate and inspiratory time. That means expiratory time is inversely proportional to inspiratory time is equal to T V by flow. So T V into flow. So if you want to increase the expiratory time, we have to decrease the respiratory rate. We have to decrease the tidal volume. we have to increase the flow if you have to increase the expiratory time as in case of copd you have to decrease the respiratory rate decrease the tidal volume and increase the flow from this formula we can find out what to do with our correct so if you want to if you can increase the inspiratory time the like expiratory time will automatically decrease If you can increase the, if you can decrease the inspiratory time, expiratory time will increase. So how to decrease the inspiratory time by decreasing the tidal volume or increasing the flow? The same thing we are discussing here. So this thing you have to remember and understand clearly. Now coming to graphics, there are three kinds of scalar we will be discussing here. This is time. Here we will discuss. This is the volume. This is the flow. This is the pressure. Pressure is our dependent variable. Pressure we are not controlling pressure. So pressure will depend upon the respiratory system resistance and compliance. So press the height of pressure will vary from breath to breath. because it is it is not something that we have put in our settings so it will depend upon the compliance and resistance of the respiratory system so it will vary from breath to breath but flow is limited we have con we have constrained the flow so it will have a square wave flow pattern because it is limited to not go beyond that limit right For volume, this volume control, volume is also fixed, so volume also will remain constant. All the heights will be constant. Eight, so it will produce a square wave form, and here it is slopey, slopey pattern. Brisa. You can see the pressure is gradually increasing from baseline and getting into the maximum point, then again decreasing down. So pressure is not maintained at a constant level; rather, it goes upward and then come backward. So it's called sloppy pattern. And tidal volume and tidal volume and minute ventilation constant. Correct. Now let's see 
what are the advantage and disadvantages number 1 because stable volume and minute ventilation are fixed so it guarantees a constant minute ventilation whatever happens the steady minute ventilation will be delivered second it is independent of a respiratory system mechanics for example the resistance and compliance whatever happens the said amount of tidal volume will be delivered number 3 because the flow is limited and it is a square wave form so the flow in the beginning is minimum that is an advantage when we are dealing with high air resistance otherwise if there is high air resistance and the beginning also flow is maximum so it will tip off the peak pressure alarm and the breath will be aborted it will not do that so this is one of the advantages what are the disadvantages low mean airway pressure since you can see so the pressure time scalar is slow p pressure has different levels this is not maintained constant level so the average pressure will be low then the pressure control this is the called mean airway pressure so this will be low then in pressure control ventilation and it is the mean airway pressure that determines the oxygenation so if our primary target is oxygenation it may not be a good mode to start with second will be recruitability is poor in lung with low compliance unit you can see the pressure is increasing gradually from very minimum to the maximum so if a alveoli is having a very low compliance it can be such that the alveoli just starts filling just starts getting recruited derecruited when the pressure is reaching here but it is not sustained so as soon as it is getting recruited it is again cycling to exhalation so the lung unit with ha who have a low compliance that will be not recruited using this method there is a reason why it says it is said that in holding control ventilation recruited there will be some part of the alveoli that will always stay de recruited and the recruitment will be better in pressure control ventilation because the pressure is maintained at a value for a certain period of time so that the all the alveoli can expand can inflate right so this is one of the disadvantage of volume control ventilation third one is insufficient flow when demand increases so because you have set the flow you have limited the flow when the demand increases for example patient is having sepsis or fever or patient wakes up from sedation at that time demands become high but because you have limited the flow patient cannot take it and it will produce asynchrony these are the major disadvantage of a volume control ventilation so we discussed volume control ventilation on four headings first we determinants in determinant section we can add another variable that is called the dependent variable and that will be our pressure pressure is our dependent variable it will depend upon the respiratory system compliance and resistance then we have discussed about the time concept 
graphics a little bit and advantage and disadvantage in our next class we'll discuss about pressure control ventilation thank you very much